Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video and welcome to my new house. That's right, about a month ago I bought my first ever house. Since then we've been doing a lot of remodeling and painting all the rooms and whatnot. And just recently I got this room done finally, which is like gonna be like my YouTube home office space. I'm really liking it so far, but it's kind of plain right now. So I just bought a bunch of things that I haven't unboxed yet. And that's why I'm doing this video today where I'm gonna go through everything I got, give you guys a quick overview of it, and uh, maybe give you some ideas for your house. If you like anything, just check the description as always. That's where the links will be. And let's just get started with the video. I hope you enjoy. Okay, here we go guys. So the first thing I want to show you is actually a really good deal I found at Walmart of all places and it's this light here. So if you ever heard of the Philips Hue Play, those things are in like the $100 range and this was only $9.88. So of course at that price I bought two of them and uh, yeah, let's check it out. Okay, so here we go. I would say it's about like a foot long, maybe maybe 10 inches. If you guys can see on the back here, it has an attached cable. It just plugs in with USB. And the next piece in the box is the little stand for it. And what I noticed is there's a mounting hole on the bottom and that'll let you mount it horizontally like so, but there's actually another mounting hole on the bottom over here. And that'll let you mount it like this, where it stands up vertically. So of course in the box, you also get this little remote control with all your basic colors. The cool thing with this is it is supported with Bluetooth. So you can download the app on your iPhone or Android phone and control it through there. So this is how it looks when it's plugged in and set up. I'm just using the remote control right now to show you how fast the response times are. Pretty fast. One more thing before we switch over to the next product, I want to show you the app real quick. And I'm actually really surprised at how fast this responds when I click things. I know a lot of smart lights, especially cheaper ones, they'll kind of lag out and they won't work that fast, but this works almost instantly. So yeah, for 10 bucks, can't go wrong. Okay, the next thing I got here is a pretty small product, but they're super useful. I don't know if you've ever seen them before, but there's these little adhesive black rubber pieces with little sections cut into them to hold your cables. It comes with a big pack of a bunch of these. And what I'm gonna do with this is put one of these on my computer desk so that I can have my phone charger locked into place when I'm not using it. Cause otherwise it usually just eventually makes its way to falling behind the desk and it's really annoying to go pick back up. On the back of them, you got this red section here. That's is actually a 3M adhesive where you're gonna peel the plastic off and then take this and stick it wherever you like. So you just press them into these little slots here and it'll hold your cables in place. Okay, next up, I think this is the headphone stand. Yeah, here we go. So I got this on Amazon for myself because I'm always just leaving my headset on the table or hanging it on my computer monitor. And this is gonna be super helpful because I can just take this adhesive pad that it comes with, stick it to the side of my desk, and that way I'll have this little L-shaped hanger for putting my headset on. And this whole thing's made of metal, so it won't break. And the reason I like this one is because when I'm not hanging my headset, I don't wanna have this little peg thing hanging out, so you can actually just fold it up and that way it's out of your Way. If you guys ever heard of the product called Nano Leaf, this is the budget version of that that I stumbled upon at Walmart also. This was only $59 and the Nano Leaf cost a lot more than that. So I picked it up because I think it looks cool and I wanted to give it a try. This is the actual piece that's gonna plug into the wall. You'll see the uh, power port over here, and I guess that's where the light panels are gonna plug in. On the side here, it's got a power button, a mode button, but on the box, I see that I can control this with my phone. And it also works with Google Assistant, Alexa, and Siri. So I might not use these physical buttons that much, but I'm glad that they're there. Okay, so I plugged this thing in already, but I want to flip it over and show you guys how you actually set it up. So it came with these little pieces. On the green side, it's it's saying away from controller on the red side it's saying towards controller what that means is you just point these red parts towards the direction of this they just easily snap into place in these little sockets here and that allows you to connect 
more lights. So each light has three sockets. You can buy more and actually expand this out and make your own cool shapes and stuff. Also, while they're flipped over like this, I wanted to show you that they each have their own adhesive strips and that's what you can use to mount them on your wall. But let me flip this over and show you guys how it looks. This is the color it's set to straight out the box, but you can press these buttons over here to change the mode and the color. So when I click the mode button, it switches between different lighting effects. Here's a setting where it flashes between all the different colors. On a certain mode, you can see that each panel actually has a couple different colors going through it. This thing is really cool. I can't wait to put it up on my wall. I actually might buy more so that I could extend this out and make a cooler shape. So I already paired my device right here. I could just quickly turn it on and off. But if I click into it, now I have all sorts of settings for different themes and styles. I can change the color like this the brightness and the saturation, all sorts of stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in this, you can check out your local Walmart or I'll put a link to them below. Next thing we're looking at is the TiVo Stream 4K. This is a streaming device I stumbled upon at Walmart. It was only $49 and I didn't even know it existed until I saw it. So I bought it specifically to do a whole nother video review on it. But in this video, we're just gonna quickly look at it. So it's an Android TV streaming device from the company TiVo, you may have heard of these guys. So if you're familiar with Android TV, you'll be really familiar with what this device does. Very similar to the Xiaomi Mi Box or the Nvidia Shield. It has the Google Assistant built in. It has the Chromecast built in. You can get tons of different apps on here. And I'm gonna do a full video on this, but I just wanted to show you guys. This is coming up. All right, so next up, I got a couple small things to show you guys. Number one is this little adapter piece I bought. This is a very specific thing that I needed. It comes in a pack of two. It's got male HDMI on both ends. But what I'm using this for is my little recording setup for when I record things like the Fire Stick and other streaming devices. Very specific thing. I'm sure you guys don't care that much. So on to the next thing. All right, this here is just a pack of 100 Velcro ties. As you can see in the picture, that's what they're used for. This is how big one of the uh, Velcro straps are. How this works is you take this side and you push it through this hole here and you'll just wrap this around your bundle of cables, tighten it as much as you need and then put the Velcro down like so. So it comes with a pack of 100 of them and I'll probably have a ton left over. I'm mainly gonna use these for my computer setup. On the cable management subject, I also bought myself a pack of these, which are just adhesive cable clips. They look like this. They have a 3M adhesive on the back and then this little clip here. So you just open this up, run your cables through it and you use the adhesive to stick this somewhere. So if you were to put these under your desk, you would be able to have a series of them running your cable along the underside of your desk so that they're not hanging down below and hitting the floor and stuff like that. But it's not only just for computers. I also plan on using a bunch of these for my TV setup. So I can put these on the back of my TV, run HDMI cables through it, power cables, stuff like that, keep them neat and organized. So this specific pack comes with 25 small clips and 25 large clips. This next thing is from a brand called Aki, I believe, and it's another cool color changing LED light. So I actually bought two of these, but I'll just show you the one for now. So it's this big cylinder shape like this. It's got a metal base and this whole top section is where the light turns on. And I believe this metal part is uh, touch sensitive. Okay, so it's plugged in and the way you turn it on is just by tapping the base like that. If you tap again, you could change the brightness of it. And this thing is actually really bright. But if you want the cool part, you just hold down and it'll start cycling through colors. And when you see the color that you like, you'll just tap it again to lock it into place. So I'm gonna stick with this blue right here. I hate that these lights don't really come through very good on the camera. What you guys are seeing is this whole section is like a bright white. But for me, this whole top section is a nice smooth blue. So the reason I bought this thing is I've seen it on a lot of other YouTubers videos, thought it was cool. And I saw that it was on Amazon for like 20 something dollars when it's normally 40. So if you guys want it, check the link in the description and see if it's on sale like it was for me. From what I could tell so far, seems like a pretty solid, decent lamp. I would recommend it. Uh, I'm starting to realize I have a lot of light related stuff here. This is a simple smart light from Sengled. I think that's how you pronounce it. It works with Alexa and the Google Assistant. It also works with Samsung Smart Things, and it has no hub required. 
So I believe this light is pretty popular because they tend to have sales on Amazon where they include smart lights with their Echo Dot products. But yeah, I just have this one bulb for now and I plan on hooking this up to a simple lamp so that I can control the brightness and stuff for recording videos. So when you look at it, it looks like a plain old LED light bulb. It's actually pretty lightweight. It's just gonna screw into any normal light socket. The app is called Sengled. It's available on the Apple Store and Google Play Store. And one thing I wanted to mention is that this is just the soft white version, but they do also sell an RGB version where you could set it to any color of light that you want. But for me, that wasn't really necessary, so I got this plain old normal temperature light bulb. The best part about this bulb is it's only $12.69 when I ordered it, and it could be easily controlled from your phone or your smart assistants through Wi-Fi. But that's actually everything for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I have a bunch of packaging mess to clean up. So like I said before, check the description below for links to everything. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time.